Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Ofelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. My most recent books are the following. College Entrance Reviewer Books 1 and 2, Core Concepts Reviewer for any high school, especially Science High School, PSHS Reviewer Volume 3 and 4, you can buy them online at Lazada and Shopee. My channel is about math tutorials which can help you with your entrance exams, SAT, and ordinary math class lessons. Please subscribe and click the bell button. Let's start! Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. Our lesson for today is... Possible Entrance Exam Questions Part 3, which you can use in any college entrance exam. Question number 1. What is the value of x if 3 halves raised to the x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 1? In problems like this, all you have to do is to make the basis the same. Now, since 1 is on the right side, and you know that a raised to the 0 is equal to 1, then you can make this equal to 3 halves raised to the 0. 3 halves raised to the 0 is equal to 1 because anything raised to the 0 is 1. Now, this is now 3 halves raised to the x squared plus 2x minus 15. Since the bases are now the same, you can now equate the exponents. So therefore here, x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. We now have a quadratic equation here, so we can do factoring or quadratic formula. But since it is factorable, we might as well use the factoring method. So we find factors of negative 15 which when added will give us 2. We can do trial and error here. So, is it positive 5 times negative 3? Let's check. Positive 5 times negative 3, does that give us negative 15? Yes. When you add 5 plus negative 3, it gives us positive 2. Check. Therefore, the factors of x squared plus 2x minus 15 are x plus 5 times x minus 3. Then we copy equals 0. Since both factors are equal to 0, then x plus 5 is equal to 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. We solve for x here. x equals negative 5, and x is equal to 3. You can easily check if your answers are correct by substituting the values in the original equation. Now, let's have problem number two so that you have more practice. Here we are. What is the value of x if square root of 3 raised to the 2x minus 5 is equal to 81? Again, make the basis the same. We know too well that 81 is 3 to the 4. Why? 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. And we can make the base here equal to 3 if we let it be 3 raised to the 1 half. Yeah. So take note of that. Take note of that. Square root of 3 is equal to 3 raised to the 1 half. This is the radical form, and this is the fractional exponent form. So 3 to the 1 half is raised to the 2x minus 5 is equal to 3 to the 4. Now, that the bases are the same, we can now equate the exponents, but we have to simplify it first there for you to understand. 1 half times 2x, we can put a parenthesis here so you will not get confused, 1 half times 2x is x minus 1 half times negative 5 is 
five halves is equal to three to the four. The bases are now the same, so you can now equate this. Therefore, x minus five halves is equal to four. To solve for x, transpose this to the other side. So x is equal to four plus, remember this will be transposed to the other side. So plus five over two. But five over two here, five over two here is two and a half. Two and a half. So therefore x is equal to four plus two and a half gives us four plus two is six plus one half that is six and a half there before we end we always have to remember that we add kindness we subtract judgments multiply understanding equals mrs o's good life equation don't forget to subscribe by clicking the bell button Thank you.